there were some games. We were looking back over the numbers and stuff. There was a game, 2002-2003 season was insane between the two yeah, of you. Yeah. He made me fall. He shook me so, he shook me so bad I mean, one time. McGrady, what a move. I said, oh man. Yeah, but you embarrassed my whole team when you went down on the other end and dunked on everybody. Right, the drive. <laughs> and got a team. What was it like going against each other? I loved it because I knew I was going to get his best. There was no backing down. Like, I, I knew I had to come and play against this dude every single possession. And it brought the best out of me. Because, you know, you play some of these guys, some nights, you know, you could drop 40 and you don't really have to go hard. With him, <laughs> yeah, you sleep on him if you want to. <laughs> you get embarrassed. So, I mean, I, I loved, I relished those opportunities. I remember you had uh, Coach, Coach Wool. Uh, down in Orlando, and I came out early to say hi to Ty Lue, I think it was, and you know they were telling me, "Oh, Max, ready for you, Max, Max, ready for the game." And I remember reading about you having some tightness in your back. I said, yeah, and I said, "Yeah, how's his back?" Oh, so he's ready for you. I said, "He's gonna be fine when I hit him in that." <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna check. Yeah, I'm gonna check that back. I had like 21 in the first half. I could have swore this dude. I think I I came up. I uh, got a rebound, and I, when I went down, he jumped up behind me, and I swear I got an elbow <laughs> on my back. I swear I got an elbow on my back, <laughs> and, I had, and I had a contusion, Probably. I was out. I had a contusion. I was like, yo, he did that, because I was cooking in the first half, yeah. right? And I was like, damn. Uh, he cold, is competitive drinking a cup of coffee. Hey, listen, you know that's going to happen. I, 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 wanted, I just wanted to test the back out, see how, see how healthy it but, is. But, I mean, I don't, I can't answer for him, but I was watching him from afar when I was in Orlando, especially the 2 3 season when I led the league of scoring. And this dude rung off like nine straight 40 points. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. I can't let him come get me for the <laughs> scoring title. I might not win a championship this year, but I'm damn sure getting this scoring title. I always wish if I had one player to play with, it was this guy. Because mm. he, man, listen, he could do everything I could do, but he was taller. You would have liked that too. When I talk to kids about that, I'll, that's what I tell them. And they ask about the hardest player I ever had to defend. I say, it's pretty easy when I was Tracy because he could do everything I could do. But, but again, all of that stuff came from him though. Like us training together as, as young pups and, and seeing how he worked. And then watching him as he became this, you know, a, one of the greatest players to ever play the game, the footwork, right? How he approached the game. I took a couple of his moves. And I'm going to sit here and say it. He don't have to. I know he took a couple of my moves. One, oh, yeah. move, one, one move in particular, yeah. I see it all the time when he was playing. I was like, okay, yeah, he got it. <laughs> <laughs> We're the only two guys that do that right there. That, so. right there. All right, so let's take this to present day because since the NBA-ABA merger, there are only three humans on earth who have had these crazy scoring streaks of 30 points or more over and over and over again. You had it 14 games in a row. You had it 16 games in a row. And James Harden, of course, crazy streak this season. What do you think of what he's doing right now? Well, I think he, I'm not a fan of in terms of winning championships. I don't think that style is ever going to win championships. But at the same time, you have to keep your team's head above water to win games. So you have to do what you have to do to win games. And he's doing that, right? Now, I think... Um, so are you saying you don't think James Harden and the Rockets, as constructed, can win a title? Not with this style of play, it won't win, right? With one player dominating the ball. Now when you have Chris Ball come back and you have more, more movement to the offense, where you move guys around, where you're harder to find. And Chris now Ball's back, but you mean more in the Yeah, because listen, yeah. if you take one player, you put him at the top of the key, or you put him on the wing, and you're running screen rolls, you're always in front of the defense. Mm -hmm. The defense can key on that, mm -hmm. particularly in the playoffs. And it's that's easy, easy to defend. Yeah. It's easy to defend. Now, what he's doing is absolutely remarkable, though. And I think um, it, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a testament to how remarkable it is because uh, people are now trying to minimize what it is that he's doing. I mean, he's doing some phenomenal stuff, man. I could ask you about Anthony Davis. You went on the radio once yeah. and said you wanted to be traded from L.A. What do you think of A.D. wanting out of New Orleans? He's got a right to do what the hell he wants to do. I mean, I, listen, it, it's, you know, teams have the right to trade players, sign players, do whatever they want, and they can speak their piece, do whatever they want. Players should have the freedom to be able to say and voice their opinion. I mean, at some point, you know, you spend six or seven years and you feel like you're not competing for a championship. 
like at some point you're going to want to get the hell out of there and, and <laughs> go to an organization that is serious about winning. Yeah. I dealt with that, right? I dealt with that in Orlando. You want to win. You see, you know, your contemporaries winning championships. You yeah. see your friends winning championships. And, you know, that's the ultimate goal. All right, so Mr. Laker, yeah. how aggressive should this year's, this season's, this week's Los Angeles Lakers be about well, getting Anthony Davis? Well, you, know, you, know, you know great basketball players don't make good GMs. Mm -hmm. well, so said the guy with Magic Johnson running his franchise. He's the president. He's the president. He's the president. Do you, want, Rob's do you want your team to make a big push for AD? How aggressive uh, should they be? It, it depends on what you're trying to accomplish and what your long-term objectives are. Now, by signing LeBron, you're already making an indication that you want to win now. Right, so I think it'd be a smart thing to do for the Lakers to look at that, right? But at the same time, you know, it's a, it's a, you gotta play a little bit of poker, right? I wanna ask you about LeBron. I don't think it's a coincidence that he had the worst stretch of games out, the worst injury of his career went after he turned 34. You snapped your Achilles at age 34. What do you think LeBron's timeline is and the pressure that puts on the Lakers in terms of their overall well, he's timeline? It's fine, I mean, it just depends how he adapts his game. Right? Because at some point you have to evolve. So the speed and the power that he's used to playing with has to change, mm -hmm. which he can because now he has the God-given size to be able to adapt and go to below the free throw line, use more of a power game. You know, Magic did a lot of that. Right. Right. Magic at six nine went down to the post a lot, attracted double teams down to him, made plays from there. And he's, he's more than capable of doing that and playing for a long, long time. So Michael Jordan played when he was forty. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played when he was 40. Vince Carter is out there playing when he's 42. Well, still yeah, I mean, do you guys think, oh, maybe I could still go back out no, there and do it? No, I, 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 I played one pickup game. It hurt me, you know. I tried, I tried at the house Monday. I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> Hurting. <laughs> oh. No. Yeah. No, I mean, I, you know, if I, if I wanted to, I could. I don't want to. You're sure? I'm sure. The I'm love sure. is gone. If I wanted to, I could. You know, you, you, you diet. You know, you got to really, you know, really obsess about it. You, you can do it. With the technology, nutrition, studies, all the things that you have now, you can certainly do it. I just don't want to. I mean, Vince is out there windmilling, man. It's like, he, he, I think you should enter the dunk contest. Man, come on. Don't, get on, don't get on that with her, Thank bro. You. She, Seriously. I mean, he'd be 42-year-old dunk contest come on, champion. Bro. Come oh on, man. How amazing. Now you trying to say here's a killer. Oh, hold on. This guy was doing stuff. Thank Back you. in the day, these kids still can't do to this day. No. Thank you. At Can you look 42, at the camera and tell him? Because nah, Vince told me the other day he wasn't going to do it. He should. He should. Man, he went another one. Have you seen the dunk contest these last few years? You know what I thought about? Because I, I know he participated in, what was it, 97 dunk 97, contest? Yeah. And we had to lock out, what, the next year? Yep. Yeah. You, you and Vince, you think you would have gotten it? No. <laughs> Why? No, I will enter into things that I know I can win. <laughs> See, that's why I want to nope. get in. Nope. My exact answer is nope. like, why? I'm not going to have Vince Carter beat me. It's not going to happen. So these two guys, yep. now that you're sitting here, that 40 hair. years old, 39 years old, you look back on all of this. Is there anything you tell these guys before we go? <laughs> Yeah, in this day and age, we should try to figure out a way to trade and play with each other. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> For real. Like, That's yeah, what we should have done. We should have been talking about that at that age right there. Man, how can yeah. we get on the same team? Yeah, that would have been fun. <laughs>